or not this point on this line. Okay, so if, if we look at this entire line over here, okay, so maximum uh, tensile will be on that line, right? So from here, we calculate for aluminum, right? So we can calculate for aluminum now. So A shows stress X or stress, maximum stress. or aluminum so we're going to calculate stress in the x direction okay so this is equal to uh the the, the moment that we have is equal to uh, 900 so the, the n first so n mz over izz multiplied by y okay so N over here is equal to 1 because aluminum is our reference material. MZZ is equal to 90, 900. You need to multiply by 12 is because it's from feet to inches. Okay. And then the Y is equal to 3.4753. Okay. And then divide by IZZ. So IZZ is equal to uh, 153.1063 okay so this will be equal to 1 times 900 times 12 times 3.4753 divided by 153.1063 okay so this is equal to 245 so it's equal to compression minus 245.1063 PSI. Okay, so I have to put minus sign down here. Why minus? Because we know the aluminum is going through what? Compression. Okay, we know the aluminum is going. Why the sign is important is because sometimes the question will ask the maximum allowable stress now in tensile and then also in what? In compression. And both can have different numbers. Okay. So for this case, the, the question is not asking asking for uh, what is the allowable. It's just asking you to calculate. Then we're going to calculate uh, maximum stress. For Kevlar. Okay, so stress is in the x direction again minus now this is equal to the coefficient is uh, 95 over 53 multiply by multiply by 900 12 and the distance now we have the distance the maximum is still like in this region right okay then multiply by uh, the distance, you see, 3.4653. Uh, and then divide by 153.1063. Okay. So this is equal to 95. So it's equal to minus 439. Point four one one PSI. Okay. So this is all I'm going to teach about sandwich material. Okay, this is all I'm going to teach about sandwich material. So uh, the just just quickly do a a, a a a a summary. I think the most critical is is this over here. Okay, you have to know. Okay, you have to know that why we are we have to know that we are only adjusting the what the width. Okay, that's no. If you if you're not bothered about the math, I'm 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 fine with that. If you're if you're not bothered about the math side, I'm fine fine, but I have no problem. But the most important thing is only the width changes, the height is maintained a constant. Okay, that is the most critical part. And then again, you can see from here 
if if the block is arranged in the opposite uh, in when you tilt it by 90 degrees what does this actually mean okay so that's all i am going to teach for uh sandwich material okay anyone any questions before we go to the ne next topic anyone i have a new message which i've not read yet i do apologize how would the free body diagram if we choose kevlar if we choose kevlar how would the free body diagram the free body diagram uh, will not change at all but the, the the sketch will be different so now if we were to so the question asks if it's if, if we choose uh kevlar so now i'm going to draw down here uh, option two okay we pick uh reference material is Kevlar, right? So the, the Kevlar now did not change, okay? So the Kevlar now uh, did not change. So I'm going to copy and paste if I could. So it did not change. Okay, then let, let me move this to the which uh, I can modify. So now the thing changes this. Ah! Okay, so now the thing uh, changes this. I'm going to see, can I wipe? Yeah, I can wipe this thing up. I can wipe this thing. Ah, I can't. My bad, okay. So I'm, I'm just going to draw. I'm just going to, you know what? I'll just sketch this. Undo. No. Delete. Okay, I'll delete this. <laughs> it's like not having anything. You just seriously do it. So this is what is going on, okay? So again, I'm going to base on, so you would not see the ch change in shape. So I use uh, two, four, six, okay? So three, six, two, four, six. So reference material if is Kevlar. Kevlar do not change. Right, so you calculate the end of steel uh, of aluminum, right? So this is equal to uh, 10 point, uh, Kevlar is 19. And this is uh, 10.6, right? So 10.6, 10.6 divided by 19. So this is uh, 0 0.557. So now the, the 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 depth did not change again. So now, okay, this is your aluminum. Okay, so you can you can see what's going on, right? Right, the Kevlar did not change at all. Okay, it's not known as a free body diagram. It's just the cross sectional representation. Okay, so it's not the free. So David, does that answer your question? Okay, I I hope this is uh, what you mean by what is going on if you pick Kevlar as your reference material. Right. Anyone? Anyone? Any question? Should I have a question? Yep. Uh, so I know you mentioned that uh, we <clears throat> change the width only because we have that depth cubed in our second moment yep. formula. Yep. Uh, I don't get it. Like, what do you mean by that? Like, how does that practically okay. make okay. sense? Okay. Okay. Watch this. If I do, if 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 I change the depth, okay. Watch this. So now I will have n depth, and then the whole thing cube. Right. right. It does not. Yeah. It does. So n cube means you you cube the what? You cube the the n coefficient, which is wrong. Yes or no? True. Mm -hmm. Right. So that is why we only change the what the width. Okay. Oh, okay. So yeah. mathematically, that that is what it means. Okay. Oh, thank you. Welcome. I'm glad that I could answer that question. Okay. You would be really if you if I can't answer the question means I don't understand the concept myself. Right. So the next one we're going to look at. Yeah. The next topic. 
still under pure bending. Okay, all these are, are still under pure bending. So we are going to look at eccentric. Right? Symmetrical. Loading. Right? So I hope, based on the last lecture, the recorded lecture, I hope you all understand what do I mean by symmetrical. Okay? The symmetrical over here is based on stress field. All right? The symmetrical over here is not based on the loads. It's not based on geometry. The symmetrical over here is based on stress field. So the left-hand side is equal to the, the right-hand side. Right? So last week lecture, if you have to look at last week's lecture, is this diagram I'm talking about. So based on last week's recorded lecture, right? I asked, I asked which, which structure is symmetrical. So all this, all this structure over here, right, symmetrical because uh, stress at alpha is equal to stress at beta, stress at i is equal to stress at So we call this what symmetry. Nothing to do with the, uh, with the loading and the geometry. Okay, don't laugh at this, okay? I only knew this three years ago. <laughs> okay? I only knew this, what? Three years ago. Okay? Why they... I thought the symmetry... I took it for granted. Ah, yeah, the symmetry is due to the loading. Okay? No, 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 no. Nothing to do with the loading. Okay? Nothing to do with the loading. It's based on your what? On your stress wheel. Okay? So, uh, I'm old. I'm, 50, I'm going to be 50 next year. Okay? You guys are still young. You know this before 50. Okay? So that's why I want to make you guys better than me, okay? So now, we are going to talk about what do we mean by eccentric. Okay. Uh, Eugene, can I have a question? Yes. Uh, the stress happened from the last question is where it, it actually is the center of the long bin, right? Center of... Say it again, uh, we mean. Uh, I mean, if you imagine it a long bin, the cross section. Yeah, that's the a cross section. section. Yep, that's the cross section. Cross section. Pin, right? Yep, that's a cross oh, section. Okay, yeah, okay. absolutely right. Okay. Now, the next one that we are going to do, we're going to look at the eccentric, uh, symmetric loading. So I, I want you to, I, I, I posted this diagram. Okay, and I want your way eh, undo. I want you to look at this diagram. Okay, I'm going to teach based on this diagram now. Okay. So this is how a structure is under what? Eccentric loading. Okay. So now we we know and, and I'm 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 gonna draw my uh my transformation again. I'm gonna draw my transformation again. So based on transformation, right? So this is uh, x. This is Y and right hand rule, rotation about Z. So we know based on the structure, right, the failure, okay, based on where what we're looking at, the failure will occur at point C. Okay. The failure will occur at point C. So always remember this. Whenever we calculate any analysis of stresses, unless specified, we want to know, we will usually calculate where the structure will what? Fracture at. Okay. So point C is the most critical point because if this thing were to break, it's going to break at point where? At point C. So if it's going to break, it's going to break at point C. Okay, so now, so we're going to fix point C. So point C is going to be the fixed end. Okay, point C is going to fix end. So when that's the case, P prime over here, right, is going to induce a moment. Yes or no? Right, so the moment induced by P prime, so the moment will be induced by p prime okay 
And the moment about z axis again will be equal to p prime multiplied by d. Right? You can see over here what do I mean by d? D is this, this, this distance. So what you see over here, right, is now we have the moment now will be acting this way, right? So point C, okay, point C over here, down here, point C, I'm going to put point C is fixed end. Okay, P prime is going to move, or point A is going to move, okay? So this will induce a moment rotating this way, yes or no? Right, because it's P prime, Multiply by D, fix at point C, is going to induce a clockwise rotation. And then our notation still work. When that's the case, the top part, the top end of the arrow is under compression. The tail end of the arrow is under tensile. Okay? The tail end of the arrow is under tensile. So if I were to draw how this will, or I, if, if we were to sketch how this will deform, you can see it's very obvious, right? So this will now bend this way, okay? So now this will bend this way. Okay. Right? So that's where you can see at the top down here, right, where I just circle green, is going to be in compression, and the bottom end over here is going to be what? Tension. Okay, so this is what we call deformation pattern. Okay. So we have calculated, we, we have known now, right, the moment about Z, right, we know now the moment about Z is uh, P prime D. Okay. But at point C, right, so so we know, okay, so now I want to explain, so we, 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 we you, you all can see this, this, uh, this arrow, right, right, so based on Newton's third law, action equal to reaction, right, so there will be a moment at point C, right, and then again, Newton's third law, action equal to reaction, you also will have another force over here. And this is what we call our F, right? Action equal to reaction, same magnitude, different direction. So this is, so finally, you can see why this is this direction. So this is based on Newton's, okay, Oy. all of a sudden the pen not working. So this is, sorry people, I, I think my something hangs somewhere. <laughs> Sorry, let me uh, see. Can I wait? Task manager. Yeah, this usually happens, and it is. Close window. Let me open it again to see whether it show anything. Okay, you okay, okay. What I propose, can you still hear me? Yes or no? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, what I propose, we go for a, a, a 15 minutes break. Okay, we, we go for 15 minutes break. Come back at 10. Wait, uh, uh, come back at 10. 40, okay? Come back at 10, 40. Let me sort this out, okay? And and we do a short break, okay? Let's go let's go for a short break now where I sort my computer out, okay? <laughs> 